Welcome back to AEC Workbench. This is Bill. I am so glad you joined me again for some Bluebeam training. The If you missed the first one, it just talked about the user interface and what the different parts were. If you'd like to go see that, then jump right over and see that and come right back to this one so that you can learn how to compare and overlay drawings. Are two different commands. They do two different things, but they're very similar to each other. And in fact, you'll see the difference between the two and when you should use either one. So I've got a drawing set open here. I've got my uh, insurance building here or my Audubon Center here. And you can see I've got some draw some floor plans and things like that. And I have a revision too, but I don't know what's changed because even though there's clouds here, I believe those same clouds are in my revision one. Let's see. Yes, they are. So I need to figure out what's different between the two sets of drawings. And I want to do the whole thing. So we'll go to document and we'll go to compare documents. So here's our compare documents dialog box. We'll start at the top and work our way down to the bottom. That's what you do in dialog boxes here in review. So the first one is document A and document B. We don't know which documents they are because we can't make this wider. Bluebeam, if you're watching this, Make this wider, that would be great. But you do have a tooltip. You can hold your mouse over the top. It'll tell you which one it is. So that's revision one, and that is revision two. I'm going to compare all 16 pages of the document. I can choose what range I want to compare, or I can choose just the current page if I just want to do the current page. I'm going to do all the great pages. So we'll do all pages. And output folder, yep, that's where I want to put it. And uh, let's see, alignment. Alignment is good if the drawings aren't aligned. Duh, right? But you could do a compare of an enlarged plan to the full for a plan if you wanted to, and it would tell you the differences by selecting a window and picking points. So selecting the window tells you what area you're interested in. And points, you pick three points in an L formation. The larger the L, the better. And it will align those points with each other. Those points must be the same in each drawing. We don't need to worry about this for this drawing set, so we're in good shape there. Split screen says, hey, when you're done, put them side by side and synchronize them. So when I zoom in and out, they'll do it at the same time. And comparison type. This sets the comparison settings so it knows how much wiggle room to give it. So for example, if you have a drawing that has a stipple pattern in the concrete, in the flooring, you may want to pick scanned documents. And that's going to ignore things that are of, of a certain size, little small dots, for example. It'll ignore all those and it won't cloud the whole drawing. So if you're having a hard time where it's clouding everything, you you have one of two problems. Either one, you need to align and you have to do that page by page, or two, pick scan documents and it will be a little bit looser in the compare, if you will. You can go to advanced and these are all of the different settings. So if I look at scanned, you can see the pixel density went to 20 pixels. So it's got to be larger than 20 pixels in size in order for it to be considered different. So I'm going to say same printer. What the heck? I got that, and I'm going to say, okay, do the comparison. It's comparing the documents. And there's my comparison. So there's revision two is the one that it kept. That's the one that's open right now. Revision two, small difference. So this is the document that it compared. It made the document on the bottom of the dialog, this dialog box here, it made the bottom one the one that's going to remain. And the top one, document A, is the one that it finds the differences in. So there's the differences right there in that spot. You remember that markup panel we talked about last time? I'm going to click in the difference drawing, and I'm going to click on the markup, and there's all the differences right there that it found. And it tells me what page it's on. So if I click on this one, it's going to highlight that one. If I click on this one, it's going to go to that page and highlight that one. So that's pretty nifty. But if I zoom in, because I have synchronization turned on, which is down here, this is synchronized views, down here in the lower right, it zooms in on both of them in 
the same spot. So if you don't know if your drawings are aligned, remember that part in the dialog box you're right here. If you don't know if they're aligned or not, you could actually open them up in a split view here. Turn on synchronization and zoom in. And if the zoom works into the right spot, the compare will work just fine for you. So this is what I found. I found an area here that's different. I found an area here that's different. And I found this area here that's different. So that's telling me where it's different. But I want to find what is different. So compare is for where. Overlay is for what. So let's do an overlay now. We'll get uh, small two up and small one back up. We'll do document and we'll do overlay pages this time. This time I don't want diff two open. I want I want number one. But I gotta find. Do I have to find the file and, and import it? Add the file? No. You just click add open files and it adds that one there for me. Now this one I don't want anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And I want number one. Eh, it doesn't matter. I just need to remember that number two is going to be red and number one is going to be blue and anything that's the same is going to be black. So if I want to modify this color or anything about it, I can do modify and this is what it's going to do. It's going to blend with a darken. That's how it does the black of the same. But I can pick color here and I can say, well, let's do Christmassy. Let's make it green for that one. I can select a region that I want to use. Just darken this spot. That's the only spot I'm interested in, in overlaying. I want to do the whole drawing, so that's fine. So I'll pick OK. You can, you can overlay as many documents together as you want. But, oh, I just noticed pages 2 and 1 here. Is that right? I want to do all the pages ah there we go i'm glad i i saw that all pages okay so now i'm ready i've got all the pages how did i do that i double clicked that's how i found it so you double click on there and pick all pages and then okay go now it's going to overlay the pages it's going to put each document on its own layer so i can turn off and on different layers or I can see them all on top of each other. All right, there we go. There's the overlay right there. It says overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and close this revision one here. I got my overlay up. And so what do I want to do? Oh, yeah, I want to look at the second page. And you can see I have some green and red here. This shows me what has changed. So that's pretty nifty. Look at that. It looks 3D-ish kind of thing if you without looking at it in 3D glasses. So those are what has changed between the two different ones. If I go to layers here, I can see the different layers. I have revision one and revision two. I can turn off revision one and just see revision two. Turn it back on or turn off revision two and just see revision two if I want to. So that's pretty cool. That tells me what has changed but here's the here's the challenge that i had when i first started using this i wanted to see both i wanted to know what has changed and i want to know where it's changed because if you look at just the drawing it's like i don't know if there's something else in here i i'm not seeing the the green and the red as clearly as i think i should see it so here's what you do we're going to go to the difference file. We're going to open this markup list. And we're going to go to markup list. We're going to go to markups and we're going to export the markups. And we're in our right thing. Small different markups are fine. That's a fine name. I will hit save. And now my markups are saved in a file. I'll go to overlay. I'll go to markup list. I'll go to markups and I will go to import so in the overlay pdf i'm going to import the markups right there and say open 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 and look at that there is showing me the best of both worlds this is the van halen of 
markups or comparing. It's showing me where something has changed and it's showing me what has changed. So what else could you use this for? Well, what about when you update or upgrade a Revit central file from one version to another? Because it's always a scary thing, right? Because you don't know what Revit's going to change on it. So you can print out all of your views, print out all of your sheets, upgrade the file, print them out again using the same settings, and do this, just what I showed you. And you can see what has changed in your Revit file. Well, I hope you found that useful. Stay tuned for the next video on Bluebeam Review, where we're going to talk about some of the markup tools. So hopefully you will join me there. Make sure you like, subscribe, and do all of those things that you do so well in order to make the algorithm find me.